Good morning, today is November 1st, and this is Pastor Rick's Reflections. Happy All Saints Day. We use this day um, to commemorate the uh, significant saints within the church, but also uh, to remember all deceased Christians, both the famous and the forgotten. This day was put on the church calendar uh, around, the, uh, around the 8th century. I don't know the exact year. Of course, we also have some individual days, uh, as we talk about them some here in the Reflections. But this is a day we remember um, all Christians who have um, both, like we said, the, the famous and uh, maybe infamous, so famous and maybe sometimes forgotten. In our congregation on All Saints Sunday, which will be this week, we take time to remember uh, members of the church who have passed away since the last All Saints Day. Here's a little bit of a... Uh, writing from an author named Bernard um, Bangley, who uh, describes All Saints Day very well, I think. Since there are many more Christian saints in the 365 days of the year, this day is set aside to honor all of them. Many saints have never had their names mentioned beyond a very small circle of friends. Not all saints are alike. Spiritual gifts are as varied as the many interests and abilities that exist in the broad spectrum of people. Some saints have mystical experiences, some do not. Some saints stay busily at work in the world. Other saints have neither the energy nor the social skills for that. Many saints have no idea that they are saints. One saint will rediscover the value of tradition while another saint will open new doors of innovation. Each life has a purpose and fits into God's grand scheme the way plants, an oak or a trillium grow in a forest. And here's the prayer of the day for all saints. Let's pray. Almighty God, you have knit your people together in one common, in one communion in the mystical body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Grant us grace to follow your blessed saints in lives of faith and commitment and to know the inexpressible joys you have prepared for those who love you. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.